Well, there you are again. And I'm glad, as I always say, that I found you. That's my first. I'm looking for you. I'm looking for you. And I'm glad now that I have found you and that you, in turn, have found me. And we want to have a special relationship. I want you to be dealing with the blogs in a very serious way as you would deal with somebody that was serious about you and that you were serious about in terms of this relationship. I, I, I'm going to go off on some very important teaching, and I want you to be a part of it. However, I want to introduce you to something right quick. Uh, this book right here, this book right here, can you see it? Okay. It is, you see that? Okay. That's the latest book that's off the press, and we want you to have it. This is Intensive Faith Therapy, Bible Lessons on Rebuilding Your Faith by Vanessa Collins. Vanessa Collins is a part of our family, and so therefore not only do I want to buy you to buy the book because she is family, but it, because she has something to say. We have another book we're promoting also by uh, Brian Payne, and I'm going to let you see that before I finish this blog. So I want you to look at it, and I want you to get this book, all right? Now me pleasing faith is what i'm dealing with pleasing faith and i'm so jealous about uh vanessa writing that book and 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 getting it all together that i've got to stop talking about what i'm going to do and i've got to get a book out also for you uh and that selfishness that i'm talking about and that that uh i'm jealous of her is not a bad thing we can be angry but sin not i'm angry at myself I'm jealous because of my own not doing what I should. That's a lesson biblically we can talk about. I have a broadcast that airs in the Chicago time zone at 3.30, and it comes on every day in the week. It is also streamed all over. So whatever your time zone is at 3.30, I wish this is the best of Paul Sutherland, the best of Paul Sutherland is at 3.30 every day, the best. And I would that you would find yourself coming there and meeting me there because you're going to get the best that Paul Sutherland has to offer. And that's every day at 3.30 to Chicago. Uh, what is that, Central? Uh, what is that time zone, somebody? Help me out here. Central Standard Time. That was TK, my assistant right there. Uh, Central Standard Time is at 3.30. You figure it out in terms of your time zone, and let's meet every day at 3.30. I'm going to give you something from that now that I will be discussing more fully every day at 3.30. I mean, pastors, if you really want to do some study, some real study in terms of theology, methodology, uh, and hermeneutics, you want to meet me every day at 3.30, me being Paul Southern. Let me tell you what I'm, I'm going to start talking about on this Monday Guilt is an addiction. Guilt is an addiction. Pleasing faith breaks all additions. That's what I'm trying to get a book on right away uh, out there to support Vanessa Collins and to support anybody that is trying to deal with faith in God. Remember what I'm starting to deal with today. Guilt is an addiction. Pleasing faith breaks all addictions. We'll be talking about that. Last week I talked about uh, drugs being addiction and uh, how pleasing faith deals with drug addiction. And we'll talk more about that. But there are many addictions that we've got to deal with. Uh, uh, you know, another bad one, I want to deal with that next week, uh, is the one that deals with low self-esteem. We want to talk about aspects of low self-esteem and how pleasing faith can break low self-esteem. Now, God bless you real good today, and 
We're looking forward to being with you. And again, here's this book I want to talk about a little bit. This is by coming out of Indianapolis. And this is Brian Anderson's Pains, The Music of the Message. The Music of the Message. We're going to be talking about all these publications that young men and women out of the movement that we have born into the American mindset, and now we're going worldwide. These are the young people that are pioneers and the up-and-coming leaders, and I will be telling you about them. you got to get this one, too, the music and the message. Now, I'm getting out of here. Goodbye. <laughs>